Hello, everybody! I am doing some backyard prospecting today. Well, actually, front yard prospecting today. The sun is out. It's beautiful out here. And I have some samples from that amazing claim I have on the Fraser of the quartz seams that are running through all that shale. And we're going to try to solve a bit of a mystery about where that gold is coming from by crushing up a bit of this quartz and seeing if it has any gold inside of it. Because there's a bit of a mystery developing on that claim. The gold is a bit of a mystery of where it's coming from, why it's there. It's not typical Fraser gold. And there has to be a reason there's so much big, coarse gold sitting in a place that shouldn't have gold. Possibly, this is the reason. So I'm going to take these uh, quartz samples of this seam material crush it down and see if possibly that is the source of my gold. That's my goal for today. Hope you enjoy. So I've got the crusher here all set up in the driveway. Just the little guy, not using the big one. Uh, I've got it all winterized already because it is starting to freeze at night. So I've got the icon and the big crushers and everything winterized. I will just be using the little jaw crusher for today. And I have a bucket full of gold there. Bucket full of gold. Yeah. <laughs> a bucket full of rocks right there that we're going to be crushing down. And I'm going to crush it down in a couple of steps because this was dug out of those crevices that had all those big pickers in it. If any of that placer gold is just wedged in some of the cracks or pockets or holes in this rock, it could give me some false readings of gold in the rock. So what I want to do first is I want to crush it all down to about a half inch. Then I'm going to pan it out as half inch material and get any placer material or if there was any plaster material, I should be able to find at that point. If I crushed it any finer than half inch, I might mangle the gold so much that I wouldn't notice it was plaster gold to start with, and it might make me think there was some gold in that quartz. So first step, I've got the jaw crusher here set with a half inch gap at the bottom there. We're going to run all these through and come out with half inch rocks, and then I'm going to pan it out and see what I come up with. Let's go. Let's do it. So as I'm crushing up these rocks, just looking inside them, they are just full. The quartz seam is full of all sorts, ooh, all sorts of pyrites. You can see pyrites all around them. Ooh, where is it? Pyrites right through this whole thing. Limonite of all sorts, like rust. Rust running right through everything here. Focus, man. Focus, camera. Rust running through everything. Pyrites. Pyrites all over the place. If a court seam were ever to have gold, this looks like it would. So the first pass is done. We've got the rocks all down to probably about three quarter inch minus down there. Uh, I'm going to just sift them out. I'm going to sift out anything uh, smaller than a quarter and pan it out and make sure we didn't have any plaster stuff go through. Might actually sift down to half and pan. We'll see. But there it is. There's my bucket full of rocks crushed down. First pass. It was a little more difficult than I expected. That rock was a little tougher than I expected it to be. I'm going to use the Arbor Fabrication Classifier here. World's best classifier ever. If you want to get one of these, get them from Arbor Fabrication. I'll leave a link at the bottom of my video. And use this code right here and you'll get a discount from Arbor Fabricators. Great, amazing classifier.
three quarter minus stuff. I will still crush this down finer to see if there's any gold tied up in the rocks there in that quartz. But I want to pan this out right now and make sure that there's no placer gold in this that might give me a false reading, a false reading, a false positive, if you will, in my test here. So I'll pan this out, see what's there, and then I'll dry it all for a good final crush. No gold means there is no placer tied up in it. So we have lots and lots of glittering pyrite in there now. You can see it all over the place, but nothing that's looking yellow yet. So time to put it on to the next set of uh, the next stage of crushing, bring it down fine, finer, smaller, and then off to powdering it and work it from there. Nothing placer in there anywhere, even up to the half inch stuff. So we're good to go. So I'm trying not to bore you guys with all the crushing. Uh, I have crushed it all down to, oh, what is that, about three-eighths now. I've thrown the extra hopper on top. I'm going to dump it all into there. We should be able to crush it all to eighth minus really quick and easy. Uh, but again, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to go and do it. I'll show you the results after. So now I go and adjust the jaws one last time and make them touch at the bottom. Bring it right in until they're just as tight as they'll go and still turn over. Oh, that's too tight. Won't turn over. turns but they're touching so that's gonna give me the finest grind possible possible can't speak possible and we go one last time through the hopper there it's really nice and easy with the big hopper on top it's really nice and easy with the big hopper on top just dump it all in and let it go you don't even have to stand here and watch it Wow, that's crushed back here. I should say a thanks to Dave from 911 Metallurgist for his amazing little crusher. His little tiny jaw crusher is doing a fabulous job, job today. It struggled a little bit through the big chunks, but once I got them down to a manageable size, it's just chewing through it. Chewing through it like nobody's business. Oh, gold. So there we go. We've got it all crushed. Here we are down here in the bucket. It is just powdery 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 stuff who don't breathe that dust <laughs> nasty well that should liberate any bigger gold free mill gold that's in there well, let's hope the next step will be to take it to a creek i have that's really close by and we're gonna pan it out and see what's in it but i don't think i'm gonna do that until tomorrow because i got my mom coming over for dinner tonight and i gotta start getting the house ready for her you know gotta clean up for mom so I think I'm going to end this video right here, but I promise the panning of uh, that stuff right there will be out on YouTube tomorrow. You won't have to wait for it. So I'm going to end this video right now. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share it, subscribe if you haven't, click that bell icon. Thanks to all my patrons out there for supporting me. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link right there. Click it. Become a patron. Please, please do. Thanks everyone for watching. You guys are awesome. Until tomorrow. Bye!